Hey guys, welcome to another video. At the end of this video, I'll tell you why I'm wearing a hoodie. But I'm going to start off with my Sephora haul. It's not that big, but it's going to be in categories and it's going to be fun, I promise. Um, so, category one, skincare. So I feel like this brand has been on everybody's timeline um, for all of 2020 with quarantine and all of that. So I got two serums. Um, one is a caffeine solution for under my eye. So it's supposed to reduce the appearance of eye contours and pigmentations and puffiness. And this has been something that I've been struggling with this year. I don't know when it started, but it's definitely new and it's very, 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 very annoying. Um, and then this is a cold press hemp seed oil and this is for oil skin types and it's a daily support formula so it's supposed to be really good for your skin I looked at a million reviews on both of these products on YouTube before I decided to commit to them um, so yeah two serums and the last thing in skincare is this face cream um, not cream my bad this moisturizer so it's a vitamin C natural moisturizing moisturizer. It's also by Ordinary. Yeah, so I just kind of went Ordinary Ham. Um, it's not that expensive. I'm going to leave the prices to everything somewhere. But yeah, that's that's my skincare. Uh, so the next thing that I'm going to jump into is foundation and concealer. Um, so I got this foundation by Estee Lauder. I had this shade before. I do have several other shades, but I found that this shade is the best shade for me. Um, it is Sandalwood. It's 6W1. I really like it. It lasts a long time. You get, with Estee Lauder foundation, a very oily skin. And I found that, I'm actually wearing an Estee Lauder foundation now. Um, I found that I get very nice coverage, it lasts very long, it looks very matte, and it's just pretty. It's my favorite, it's my favorite foundation, and it's the foundation that I go to, I, I reach for every time I'm going to a wedding or I have to do my makeup for something fancy. Nine out of ten times when I'm recording, I use that foundation, but sometimes I switch it up and I use the Maybelline, which is kind of like a dupe for this. This is the Born This Way Concealer. So I'm actually wearing this right now because I couldn't wait. Let me show you the size of this thing. So guys, y'all wouldn't get it, but girls, this is a concealer. Like, look how big. It's a, it's a big concealer. Um, a lot of the girls on YouTube that I follow or watch or whatever, they say that this lasts really long. So I'm really excited to try it. I found that it's very pretty. Um, I wore it to a video shoot that I did last week and it was lovely on my face. I'm wearing it now and I, I really like it. It's a bit bright. It's in, it's in the shade Butterscotch. Um, so maybe I should swatch it. So yeah, it's like that. Ease like that. Yeah. So we have highlights. Now we have contour. Um, so if you are a chocolate girl, the best investment that you can get for contouring is the Fenty, um, I forget what you call these sticks, matte sticks, the Fenty matte stick. Um, it is in the shade Ebony and that's the shade that I always, always, always wear. Let me swatch it. So this is what it looks like and this is the butterscotch shade here. So you can kind of really see how nice of a contour that you'd get with it and it does blend out very beautifully listen the thing the biggest regret that I have from this VIB sale is that I did not buy this in full size so this is the milk primer you guys so I, I will be repurchasing this in full size um, it is beautiful it is tiny <laughs> The travel size that is but it is beautiful I saw Jackie I know talking about this and this is my biggest regret I've used it twice or three times and I want to use it all the time it is perfect it is the perfect face primer for oily girls if you have oily skin this this is gonna hold you and it's not gonna feel like the Becca primer which I don't like um, and lastly I got two 
setting sprays. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Um, I saw really, really good reviews on this online. Um, they say it's supposed to party all night, stay all day. It's supposed to be a 24 hour primer. I have not used it yet, so I can't really tell you um, what I think about it. But it's a big, it's a good size. You get a fair amount of product. Um, it's it looks luxurious. It's it smells it smells luxurious. It smells nice. Um, so I'm really excited to use this satin spray. So lastly, in the category satin spray, I don't know why I did this to myself, but I thought I wanted to try a dewy finish setting spray. So I got the Cover FX dewy finish setting spray. Um, I do have the full size of the matte version of the Cover FX setting spray and. Cover FX is a brand that you can get locally and I find that their coverage is very lit. Like how the products work, it's really good. Category face, but this is a product that I purchased because I was watching too much YouTube. Um, this is the Laura Mercier setting powder in the shade medium deep. I used it today to set the butterscotch concealer that I'm using I'm wearing and it's in my opinion very beautiful it's if you have the Laura Mercier original powder it's more or less the same just deeper um, so you don't get that flashback that you may have experienced with Laura Mercier setting powder because that was a little bright it was a little white even though it's um, translucent I'm gonna talk about some scents that I grabbed I only got one full size everything else was samples because <laughs> We save it money. Um, this is the YSL perfume, the travel size. Again, I don't know why I kept doing travel size to myself, but this is really nice. It's it smells like big lady, if that if that makes sense. Um, so I got this YSL perfume. It's it's tiny. I don't know if of all the scents that I received, I would um purchase this one back, but it's nice. Right. So. <laughs> So the perfume that I got um, a sample size of is Flower Bomb by V and R Victor and Rolf. This travel size perfume. If I'm if I am feeling to treat myself at any point in time, next year, I'm getting this. I really like the scent. I like the scent more than the YSL perfume. Um, but that's because I also like girly kind of floral scents, and that's what this is. So yeah, next up in the category face is a repurchase. Um, so for those of you who know me, y'all probably know what this is. This is my OG mascara, Better Than Sex. Um, it's Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and I love this. I don't really have much to say about it. And <clears throat> because it was my birthday, I got these Bon Bon creams. I saw everybody talking about them. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do when I try them or how I'm gonna act. But I saw this girl from Immortal Beauty talk about them as well. And I just kind of figured, why the hell not? Let me try it. She raved about it. Um, and I was like, okay, these are cute. I can grab these for my birthday. Um, so that's what Sephora gave me or sent me or whatever. I don't know. Y'all know how it works, right? That is my Sephora haul. Those are all the things that I got. So I'm wearing a hoodie because my hair is doing this one thing. I do have an appointment next week. If you are seeing this next week, then yeah, but I do have an appointment to put kind of like lox braids in my hair. And I'm probably gonna keep it in for like a month. But I thought this would help me to go incognito while I record, and I think it did a good job. <laughs> so yeah. If you are watching this video on YouTube, feel free to follow me on Instagram. And if you're watching me on Instagram, feel free to click the link in my bio and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, so I hope everyone is staying safe. And yeah, bye guys.